airlines, United in particular, have bullied us. They have treated us less than maybe we deserve. This was not a, a nut job. This was not a, a threat to anybody. Should he have, should he have been uh, unceremoniously dragged out of that plane the way he was? He's a 69-year-old man. Now, a lawyer for Dr. David Dow, he's the passenger dragged off the United Airlines flight on Sunday. He says his client suffered a concussion, lost two teeth, has a broken nose. He needs reconstructive surgery. He said Dr. Dow told him his experience of being dragged down the aisle was more horrifying and more harrowing than what he experienced in leaving Vietnam by boat after the fall of Saigon. Let's bring in the legal panel, Emily Campagno and Lisa Garber. Garber, first you, Lisa, the attorney said a lawsuit would probably be filed. What do you think? Is this a slam dunk? This isn't a slam dunk. It's really difficult for the court of public opinion. Obviously, has already decided. And and right now, we're seeing when you when you go on an airplane, you are technically signing their contract of carriage. There are a lot of different regulations that fall into place, and you don't have a constitutional right to fly. There are different things that you have to abide by when you get on an airplane. We don't know all the facts yet, and we may be rushing to judgment. You know, here's Dr. Dow's attorney, Patrice Tom Dimitriou, on his legal argument. I like your thoughts. Let's take a listen. Here's the law, real simple. If you're going to eject a passenger, under no circumstances can it be done with unreasonable force or violence. That's the law. If unreasonable force and violence is used under a set of circumstances, the common carrier, United Airlines, in this case, is responsible. What do you think? Can United prevent a lawsuit, Patrice? Oh, sorry, Emily. Emily, can, a, a law, can United prevent a lawsuit, Emily? No, I don't see United being able to prevent a lawsuit. And note, too, that in addition to this passenger's lawsuit in state court, the Department of Transportation is already investigating United for possible violations of consumer protection laws as well as civil rights. Frankly, we have legislators calling right now to render and prohibit, render illegal and prohibit the practice right now that is legal of overbooking on these flights. And these airlines are resisting saying, well, overbooking, that's a valid business practice, but clearly not in its execution. If, pa if passengers are being dragged off and sustaining what is incredibly serious injuries. So what we need is if a culture change at minimum to address this prior to boarding, for what they see is, well, this is a perishable commodity, right? These seats have no value after the doors close. Well, then the, that the onus is on the airline to determine, to render, to basically incentivize as much as possible to have those passengers leave voluntarily because involuntary removal, and especially in that violent way, is absolutely unacceptable as well as illegal. You know, Lisa, uh, Emily makes an important point. It looks like DOT, Transportation Department Statistics, 430,000 people double booked or overbooked last year. Here's the passenger's attorney reacting to United CEO Oscar Munoz. Let's take a listen. Do you think he's at fault in any way? Uh, I, no, he can't be. He was asked point blank. Did Dr. Dow do anything wrong? You know what he did? He hesitated. Yeah, Lisa, he hesitated. He also said, well, initially he said, we re-accommodated the passenger. Lisa, what do you think? Well, I think this is a tricky situation. You're entangling issues here now because you have the Chicago Department of Aviation that got involved, and did they use excessive force? Was this really all on United? And to the point but of United overbooking... United asked to come into the plane, right? Exactly. United yeah. did board everybody, and that's but part of the issue. But the security guards to come into the plane to take them they out, They did. Right? Yeah. They did. And so there's a question of who will be liable when push comes to shove and whether Dow will actually sue both United and the Chicago Department of Aviation. Emily, how does this come out? What do you think the end of it will be? Well, if United seeks to minimize what has already become a PR nightmare and the fact that the CEO took three different statements to actually apologize, then it would be in their best interest to accept full responsibility immediately to settle out with a tremendous mea culpa and to admit, frankly, that the situation is absolutely indefensible.
Emily, Lisa, thank you so much for your time. You guys are terrific. Really appreciate it.